So you returned home eventually, and like you said, that was a relief to get home. Yeah. Um, what were the key steps in that recovery and rehabilitation process at home? What was what was influential? Right. Um, trying to get back into a, a normal eating and exercising and just doing the day-to-day -day things that everybody does. Mm. I think, we're, we're, you know, I, I wanted to get back to normal. Yes. Um, as if this was all finished behind me. Um, I live with my sister, as I said, and she was producing my meals and I'm vegetarian, so it's a bit difficult anyway. Uh, and she looked after me in terms of food. Um, I had a, a, a feed tube in the top of my stomach as well in the hospital, and I found that really hard to manage. Um, not the technicalities of it, somehow the practicalities of it. Um, it I couldn't seem to get it to fit into my life and to sit there for long enough to take the thousand calories or so that I was supposed to have with it. I don't think I ever emptied one of the bags completely, however hard I tried. Um, but I was eating slightly more normally anyway. Small meals fairly often. Mm. Um, bread, a big problem. Uh, I would have coughing from that. Um, I think I had a couple of episodes of what people call dumping syndrome. I yes. don't know whether people are aware of that, um, but not very much of that. I had a, a few early day symptoms of, um, of vomiting at the end mm. of a meal. As, oh, I think I'd not judged how much I should have, so that was a bit unpleasant, uh, but that didn't last too long. Can you explain the dumping syndrome to the viewers? Right, um, it's when the sphincter at the end of your stomach empties straight into your gut and then you have to take a very quick trot to the toilet mm. because it goes through the digestive system very quickly. Yeah. I'm told it's very common, mm. so I'm very happy that I didn't have much of it. Yes. Um, and so, yeah, you know, I think people, some people have more of that than mm. I did. Um, so, eating, I got back to normal fairly quickly. Um, I still have to watch how much I eat. I, mean, I can't really manage an entire main meal. Mm. If I go out, that's it. It's, I don't manage an entire main meal. Um, Starches are a bit tricky. I, just, I guess they fill the stomach up and there's not much space for it to go. So I try to keep those a little bit lower so that I get sufficient of the other nutrients um, to balance things out. Um, I have had a couple of bouts with anemia. Um, I think, again, the iron is not being absorbed in quite the same way as it used to be. But again, I've had tablets for that and that's worked. Mm. And I, I take a, a multivitamin as well to make sure that I, I have the complete range uh, of nutrients that I need. So by and large, the food issue is not too bad. Um, one of the difficulties, and, and again, for me, this is still ongoing, is um, heartburn at night particularly. Mm -hmm. So I sleep with blocks uh, under the mattress and on about four pillows and but I, I still often wake up in the night uh, mm. and need some relief from that yeah so uh, that I suspect is going to be the norm for the future okay to be honest